Hi friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of My Zone Active Kids where we actively invest in your, your future. future. Whose, Whose future? Your future. My name is Desiree Gassis and guys... My name is Jemima <laughs> Ndebele. Guys, I haven't been on here for a while, Jemima. I don't know, I've missed my friends so, 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 so much. So have I. And we're so excited to talk about what you can see right here. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, please do make sure to catch us every day at 9 o'clock on my own Facebook page as well as, is it Zoshi's Facebook page Zoshi's also? Zoshi's Facebook page, yes. yes. At 9 o'clock and also be sure to catch us on DSTV channel 285 and Go TV channel <laughs> 94. So before we move into today's episode and before we get into a really really fun song mm -hmm. i think it's important that we tell our friends where to get these cool bean bags for their parties mm -hmm. or even just mm -hmm. for their house our friends so if you want a nice cool bean bag to keep your bum bums warm when you are hanging out with your friends or if you have a party then you know to contact innovations at kickstart at info at, at kickstart.nem.com Yes. Okay. There's info at, at kickstart.nam.com. There you go. Okay, so are we going to tell our friends what our theme is before? Okay, we're not going to give them too much so Zoe and Zaki can tell them yeah. all about the theme. But Are you as excited for Zoe and Zaki as I am? Always, always, always. <laughs> Great. So, today's theme is... Drum roll, please. <laughs> the significance of the number 400. Interesting, right? Okay, Definitely. but I'm excited to sing already. I'm excited to sing. Do you know what song we should sing? I have an idea. Okay. But I want you to tell them. Okay, tell me. So that they can see we're in sync. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <gasps> tell me. You tell them. I must tell them. Because I'm thinking it mm -hmm. and then you're saying it. I'm saying it. Yes, because okay. we're connected like that. Okay. You get it? All right. So we are going to be singing the song Head, Shoulders, Shoulders knees, knees and Toes. Knees and Toes. Okay. But we're going to add some energy into yes. it, okay? Okay, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Did you guys see Jemima's toes are here? I almost forgot where my head was. Okay, let's go. I think we should do it again. Definitely. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, oh, knees and toes. I did it. I don't know why I got the beam. <laughs> okay, let's go. One more time. Okay, one, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> That was so funny. <laughs> but now we're going to be heading over to, to drum roll oh. arts and crafts. another arts and craft so today I'm very excited to show you guys what I'm gonna be doing as we know that the theme for the week is celebrations I am going to draw one of my favorite celebration gifts which is flowers I love flowers so hmm, I think we should use green okay okay 
right? And then I'm gonna look for a pencil or oh, black color. I think this works. So I'm gonna be using this color and then I'm gonna draw. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be attempting to draw a beautiful rose because roses are my favorite type of flowers. Okay, I think we're doing well. <laughs> Let me show you guys what I'm doing. So these are the roses. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, when we put it in the bouquet, it might look a little bit better. I think that if anybody wants to gift me something, they should definitely buy me some roses. Red ones at that. Okay. And then we'll draw a nice stem towards the center, okay? Towards the center. Okay, let me take this away so you guys can see. Let me show you guys. So far, this is what we have, okay? So I'm drawing a nice stem. If you know, roses have thorns on their stem. So, okay. So, another stem for the second rose, another stem for the third one, okay, another one, okay, right, so I'm just going to add the thorns, add the thorns. But I think we're gonna make special roses today, okay? Special, special roses. Do you guys think I should put it in a vase? I think I should put it in a vase. Okay. Okay, a very interesting vase we have here. <laughs> Let me show you guys what it's looking like. Okay. Can you guys see? I'll make it darker for you guys to see very soon. Okay. So, we have them all in here. All of them. Okay, with their thorns, and then obviously there needs to be some water. Okay, so we're gonna add water very soon. Okay, so let me just there we go. I'm already loving it, guys some water okay all right okay i think that we should definitely make an interesting looking um, set of roses here so i'm thinking maybe we can use these and we can paste them all over right i'm very really excited Okay, let me see. I think my glue is a bit. Yeah. Okay, so take some glue. Put some on my finger. And then rub it all over my rose. 
where I lay it on all of my rows. I think we should make each rose unique. Very special set of roses, okay? For a special celebration. Okay. Okay, so let me see if they can paste nicely. Right, pasting. Pasting here very nicely. I know you've never seen a rose like this before. <laughs> okay, let's see. Dust it off. Interesting looking rose. I think that she has a lot of character. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys what she looks like. This is what she looks like. But I think we're gonna make her prettier as we go, okay? And then the next ones, I want them to have different colors. So maybe this one can be red. This one can be a beautiful red rose. Okay. I'm actually starting to feel like all of them should be red. I'll make all of them red. <laughs> okay. I'm actually still very fixated on my first rose. I do want her to look prettier than she does now. Okay, add some glue on my finger. Okay. Nice and neatly put it in all the corners so that I can add some more of this nice glittery stuff on there. some more glittery stuff. Okay. And some more. Okay. So I'm just adding some more of these so that it doesn't look so empty, okay? Especially because she's so special. Right. So we, all right, I think we're getting there, friends. We are getting there. I think she looks much better now. Now I just need to make her pretty, pretty, pretty. And then around here, I'm going to make it pink. I'm definitely gonna, no, but the others are already red, so let's add some interesting colors there, okay? So I'm gonna make it orange. I'm gonna make it orange. Okay. I'm telling you guys, this is a special rose. Very special rose. Mm, I'm loving it. And then I'll continue with these. Okay. As you can see, friends, I have a bit of a hard time coloring inside the lines, but I'm trying, I'm getting better. Hmm, I think I'm gonna make the last one a different color as well. Let's make her yellow. 
let's do that no it's not looking nice we'll make an orange as well Obviously, our stems have to be green. They have to be green. Okay. Okay. I think we're looking very good right now. <laughs> So I'm excited to see. What this looks like towards the end. Time for the vase. Okay. Gently. the line okay so now for the water Ooh. okay guys I just need to find my color blue and then Now we are finishing up with the blue, okay, for the water. Because you know fresh flowers always need some fresh water, okay? So we're just gonna do that. Make sure our pretty flowers that we're gonna give to our mommy or our daddy or our sister or brother, okay? Is some fresh water. Okay, I'm ready to show you guys. This is what it looks like. Well, friends, that is it from me on Arts and Crafts today. I hope you guys really liked my beautiful flowers. Okay, and bye. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Go far with Paratus. Go further with Paratus Fiber. Paratus, offering high-speed, reliable fiber connectivity, starting from only 599 Namibian dollars per month. Unlimit your lifestyle and visit na.paratus.africa for more information. Wow, wow, wow. That was actually a really, really cool arts and crafts it really was it really was but i think it's important to tell our friends that remember that when you want to try out the things that you see on arts and crafts 
be careful with the scissors because they can be so so dangerous because you know they're sharp mm -hmm. so please just ask assistance from your mom or your dad or your siblings or your cousins or your grandparents or your teacher yes depending on where you're watching us from that is every day at nine o'clock that's right now without further ado we'll be moving into the fun part which is now Zaki and Zaki. <laughs> Zaki and Zaki. Zoe and Zaki. Zaki, are you ready for today's topic under, of, under the theme celebrations? But of course, Zoe. When have I ever not been ready? Great. So friends, today we will be talking about the significance of the number 400. Ooh, I feel like 400 is such a magical number. Well, actually, there are people who believe that seeing 400 everywhere is a sign that something great will soon be revealed in your life. And apparently, angel number 400 is a powerful message that the angels are sending you ideas, thoughts, and motivations which are directing your steps. Wow, that's super duper interesting. I know, right? I don't think a lot of people know much about angel number 400. But, 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 Zaki, there are so many things centered on the f number 400. For example, about 400 million years ago, after the Big Bang, the universe began to emerge from the cosmic dark ages. Ooh, that sounds so mystical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and did you know that the 23rd of April 2016 marks the 400th century of William Shakespeare's death? <gasps> William Shakespeare? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. And another 400th event is the 400th anniversary of the Pilgrim Thanksgiving Feast. Can I tell our friends more about Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm, no problem. Well, Thanksgiving Day has become the great American tradition um, for American families to stop from working to celebrate and give thanks for all mercy and goodness. Well, that's right, Zoe. But unfortunately, we have to stop here today. But we will continue again tomorrow. But now we have to sing a super fun song. Yay! Okay. And a one. And a two. And a one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. 
Which finger did he bite? The little finger on my right. Again, 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 again. One, two, three, four, five. Once I got the fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? The little finger on my right. All right, Zaki, I'm ready for today's fun fact. So, friends, did you know on September 9th, the 400th anniversary of the most important event you've probably never heard of is King Ferdinand of Hungary, Bohemia and Croatia was crowned the was crowned Holy Roman Empire, Emperor. <gasps> Did you know that, Zoe? No. And it made him the most powerful monarch in Europe, ruling over parts of modern-day France, Italy, Germany, Poland, Russia, I mean Austria, and even Czech Republic as we know today. Wow. How cool is that, Zoe? That's so interesting. I would have never thought of that. Well, but that's it from us today, friends. Bye! Bye. such a long time since I've seen our friends Zoe and Zaki mm -hmm. and it was so cool to see them again. It really was and I've learned so much about the number 400 and I hope you guys did too because the point of Zoe and Zaki is to educate while having fun. 100%. So I hope you guys learned something from there because I certainly did. Mm -hmm. You know but it was so fun watching them but you know what I think it's time for us to have some fun. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so what are we going to be doing on our active activity today? I think it's, uh, or don't you think it's important to know how to spell your name? I think it's very important to know how to spell your What's name. What's your second name, Des? My second name is Desiree. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, actually my second name. And what's your first name? Madeline. Can you spell your first name? M-E-D-E-L-I-N-E. Mm, -E my second name also starts with an M. Really? Mm -hmm. Now let's play a game that can make it fun for our friends to know how to spell their names. So if you are with a friend, you and your friend can join us in playing this cool game where you spell our names. And <laughs> you know, the name of the game is actually also a really fun name. <laughs> it's called Kamatosh <laughs> Tosh. It's really fun to say also. So okay. it's like Kamatosh Tosh. So yeah, so. Okay, so explain to our friends how we're going to play the game. So basically with Kamatosh Tosh, it's Kamatosh Tosh, Kamatosh Tosh. You spell your name, Kamatosh Tosh, Kamatosh Tosh. You spell your name, Kama M, Kama A, Kama, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So after, before every letter, you say Kama. Okay. Like Let's Kama, like apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go. Okay. And a one, and a Well, two. you go first, so <coughs> should I? Okay, so we spell both. You know what we can do? We can spell both our names. So we can do it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll go first. Okay. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Kamatosh Tosh. Kamatosh Tosh. You spell your name. Kamatosh Tosh. Kamatosh Tosh. You spell your name. Kama M, Kama E, Kama D, Kama E, Kama L, Kama I, Kama N, Kama E. Kamatosh Tosh. Kamatosh Tosh. Kamatosh Tosh. You spell your name. Kamatosh Tosh. Kamatosh Tosh. You spell your name. Kama M, Kama E, Kama N, Kama Z, Kama I, Kama E, Kama N, Kama K, Kama H, Kama O, Kama O, Kama S, Kama I. Kamatosh Tosh, Kamatosh Tosh, Kamatosh Tosh, you spell your name, Kamatosh Tosh, Kamatosh Tosh, you spell your name, Kamati, Kama E, Kama S, Kama I, Kama E, Kama A. No, let's start over again. Kamatosh Tosh, Kamatosh Tosh, you spell your name, Kamatosh Tosh, Kamatosh Tosh, you spell your name, Kamati, Kama E, Kama S, Kama I, Kama R, Kama E, Kama E, 
Kama tosh tosh, kama tosh tosh, kama tosh tosh, you spell your name, kama tosh tosh, kama tosh tosh, you spell your name, kama J, kama E, kama M, kama I, kama M, kama A, kama H, kama tosh tosh, kama tosh tosh, kama tosh tosh, you spell your name, kama tosh tosh, kama tosh tosh, you spell your name. That was so fun. And I only realized now that my second name is actually really long. Very, very long. Fun fact, it's 11 letters. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. I think my longest name is eight letters. Eight. Which name Eleven. is that? Eleven. You know, at my primary school, we had, um, you know, casual days. Mm -hmm. But instead of paying the, like, instead of paying five dollars mm -hmm. or whatever, you had to pay, according to the number, a dollar for every letter of your <gasps> name. Really? I know, that right? That must have been expensive for <laughs> you. <laughs> it really was. Okay, friends, I had so much fun, Jemima. I hope you had just as much I fun. I really, really did. Well, friends, that is it from us today on Active Kids. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Same time, same, same place. place. Bye. Bye.